think it's probably just realising as well, folks, that, you know, especially if we're dealing with dental prescriptions, there are only a certain number of, for example, things that can be used as analgesics. So let's go and have a look at some of our fantastic facilities. So this is part of the Western simulation suite. So this is our task trainer room which is basically just kind of a room that we keep all sorts of bits and bobs that we might need. You'll notice a, a random baby under there. <laughs> not a real baby. Not a real one. <laughs> Part of our simulation family. So it's um, very lifelike, as you can see. And weighs pretty much, I would say this is fairly newborn babyish, definitely. The pharmacy students don't get to use these too much, although we're always looking for interesting ways to integrate them into practice. I think it might freak them out a little bit. <laughs> so that's one of our simulated babies. And then if we go through this way, so you'll notice that this room is our kind of control room, basically. Yeah. It's a little bit dark in here, um, but we can see through into the actual immersive suite. So we're going to walk through there next and we can change from this kind of control hub, the background that's going on um, next door. So we'll go in there next, we'll just sneak through. Oh. This is our immersive suite. Now it's attached to, through this door is a classroom. Yeah, nobody in there at the minute actually, here we are. So how we use this in practice would be, we would start off a session, for example, next door in the classroom, and you would then, move a couple of our students in here. For example, we might say, okay, go on to the ward and take somebody's blood pressure. So we'd send some students in here. Within the classroom next door, there are TVs as well. So the rest of the class could be watching their fellow students in here as well. And once the door is closed, you kind of feel like you're in this situation. So we can change the background to anything at all. So this has been filmed. Um, down at Sunderland Royal Hospital. So sometimes you'll notice noises and things in the background, like chattering. I think we've got the volume turned down, actually. So we can set things up in here, too. So we can wheel one of our trolleys in, one of our beds, maybe have one of the simulated characters, too. So, um, and we can embed things into the walls as well. So if we go to our next scene. So this is a road traffic accident. So obviously it's not just the pharmacy students who use this task trainer and immersive suite. So our paramedic students, for example, would use this. Um, and you can see that there's been a car accident. We've got the fire engine on site as well. Um, and then we've got ambulance, which will take us. So if they had their trolley here and then they were going to transport to hospital, they could use this kind of thing as well. So... We also have Helen McArdle House over the road, which um, is the School of Nursing, and they have an ambulance bay and a couple of more wards in there too. So but we can embed various different things into the kind of walls too, so we could ask questions or we could get the students to have a clue about what was going on, so we could tap it and it might display a patient's vital signs, for example, um, or any allergies or drugs that they were taking too. So it's a really fun way to kind of practice I think in a really safe environment but you also still do feel like you're in it rather than just playing role play in a classroom definitely so yeah the students really enjoy it we've got a teaching classroom in here in darkness at the moment this is one of our teaching classrooms whoopsie there we go and <laughs> These are some of my favourite seats ever. <laughs> these are like, these are incredibly comfortable, folks. So I don't ever really get to sit on these. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. They're kind of ergonomically designed, so they're very comfortable. I think I might try and sit on this side of the classroom more often. Yeah, maybe. But they're really comfortable, indeed. Um, so this is one of our teaching classrooms, anyhow. And we'll go that way, and we're going to have a, maybe a quick look at the patient floor. Have a quick look through there. This is our patient flat. So in the pharmacy programme and a lot of the other medical programmes, we have a lot of what we call PCPIs or patient carer public involvement. So they are our professional patients, basically. And because they come onto campus, 
pretty much every day. They have their own flat. So as you can see, there's like a sofa area, there's a kitchen bit, there's actually a bathroom in there as well, and another more private room um, if they wanted to get changed, for example, because we use them in teaching quite a lot. So perhaps one day they may be used by the paramedics and they may need to wear clothes that get ripped off or something like that. So they will wear old like clothes that they don't mind getting ripped up, basically. So this is one of the more realistic mannequins, basically, and it is based on a real person. So that this, this person may have a, a doppelganger wandering the planet somewhere. As you can see, you know, the, the features on him are really quite realistic. He is also weighted so that if you were to lift his arm up, it is equivalent to a, an adult male. So if you're trying to move a patient around, you can't just pick him up and, and lug him. It is you know, appropriately weighted. Who else have we got? Um, this is more kind of an artificially one, but used for kind of manipulation purposes, I would say. This one is one of our sim men. Now, he is really quite clever. So he has a cannula in his, in his arm, as you can see, and he is basically a really complicated computer with a mannequin around him. So, although he does look a little bit scary and not as lifelike as some of the others, we can, if you notice around his mouth, he's got kind of like sweat glands, he can blink his eyes, we can actually put a voice behind him as well, um, we can give him a heart attack, we can give him an asthma attack, we can give him an epileptic seizure, and then we can give him drugs, drug recognition system in here, to try and rectify that as well. So the pharmacy students will have to do a session where they try and rescue Sim Man from either having a heart attack and hopefully not dying from it. But yes, you can take his pulse points and all sorts, but again, quite heavy, weighted appropriately. Sim Man is a really useful um, learning tool, I would say, and the students really enjoy using the simulated mannequins as well. We can do things like put a prosthetic thumb on. So especially in third year, when we're doing endocrine and diabetes, we can put these special kind of prosthetic thumbs on the end or on the finger and take, pretend to take blood from him and um, get his blood glucose measurements as well. So we can do all sorts of other things as well, especially with the more lifelike mannequins. Um, Give them wounds, for example, bed sores, flesh wounds, cigarette burns, all sorts of things. It's quite a theatrical makeup, shall we say. So, yeah, the mannequins are really useful. As you can see, the TV screens as well. Um, we have, there's oxygen piped in here too. So, if we wanted to display the patient's vital signs on the ward, it would show their heart rate, for example, their oxygen saturation, um, just to make it much more lifelike as well. So when the students are doing their ward rounds, they'll get the patient chart from the bottom of the bed and kind of reenact how they would as if they were on a hospital ward doing a ward round as well. So there are two more, obviously there's teaching going on in that one at the minute, but there are two more OSCE suites over in Helen McArdle House. So this is very much where we would do a lot of the pharmacy training um, and teaching. But over in Helen McArdle, we use their facilities sometimes too. So there are two more large wards, as we have there, and two more um, slightly bigger OSCE suites as well. So in that OSCE suite, there are six individual bays. In the ones over in Helen McArdle House, there are eight individual bays as well. So it's very much School of Nursing um, over the road too, but we kind of share facilities as well. Yeah. So this kind of mimics, obviously that's the training ambulance that, you would, that the paramedics would bring in or the nursing students. And then there's our patient transfer suite again to mimic how it would be in practice um, with a couple of different stations. And then we've got our wards that are both, they're slightly different layout than the other ones. So everything feels quite new, doesn't it? And, and well looked after. So there we are. So there's loads of different bays. Um, and we can do various different clinical kind of exams in each one. So over in these ones, there are eight 
um, in the in the lab and we can record in these two so you'll notice there's a little kind of video camera in there mm -hmm. so a lot of the time for the exams we actually will record what's going on in here for moderation purposes too um, so yeah really useful the good thing about like the big labs obviously if you can see the concertina there so we can actually separate that lab off to mm. two um, yeah. You'll notice as well, up there in the ceiling is a camera. So there's a camera at the ceiling. So if whoever's running the lab wants to demonstrate something, um, it means that luckily the students can just watch on their TV screens mm -hmm. instead of like when I was at uni and you had to literally, it was good being tall because you would have to kind of stand around and, and see what somebody was doing when they were demonstrating. Right, so, the yeah, exactly. Try to get to the front. So yeah. Um, those labs can accommodate 60 students, so really well spaced out. And then we have a couple around the other side as well, and it's almost a mirror image again upstairs. So on the higher level, um, two more identical labs as well. So the pharmacy students will spend a good chunk of their time, shall we say, in there practicing the biological techniques, so looking under microscopes, but also their chemistry techniques. So especially when they do pharmaceutics and um, yeah, they really enjoy the last sessions.